previously on Taken. My daughter's in that farmhouse. How do I get down there? Our daughter was conceived on board an alien craft. She is of incredible importance to them. Fall back! Fall back! Fall back! They made this girl, Ellie, because they weren't complete without us. That was my grandfather's legacy. Craft bodies. What was he like? My grandfather. You want to know what scared me so badly, Mary? Yes, damn it! I want to know what you saw! Then look at me, Mary. Look at me. <laughs> Their power is what compels you, and I know the feeling. You want to be a part of that power at all costs. What's the meaning of this? Do you see it? There was nothing. Everything we saw, everything we just went through, it all came out of our heads. <laughs> this little girl can manifest thought. When Allie did what she did, when she manifested the ship and everything in it, she demonstrated a power far beyond anything the aliens themselves are capable of. I thought if I could make them think that I'd gone, that I'd been taken, they would stop looking for me. This little girl is the product of three generations of selective breeding, of a genetic experiment on an unparalleled scale. You want to tell me what this is? It gathers information. It responds to stimuli. She asked me to read it to her. Could you? It made me feel like I was with all of them. My uncle... And I have a plan. I put an ad in the personals of the New York Times. Then Tom gets a message to me about where to meet him. Remember I sent that uh, we didn't have a signal on Allie, that we didn't know where she was? I lied. I love you. Hello, Allie. Get away from my daughter! Right now! Please, don't be frightened. Lisa, I'm your grandfather. Your grandmother gave this to me a long time ago. Go away now! Holly, what are you doing? Stop it, please! Stop it! Doctor! Yes. We've got to get away from all these people. They're with somebody. With somebody. Another man. According to these gentlemen, a man stepped forward. He died in his 30s. His eyes turned black and they shot him. They were waiting for her to demonstrate. <laughs> See, she's got the power and bam, they're here. So you're saying this guy, the one who did all this, was an alien? You are paying attention. She didn't leave the spaceship, Doctor. She left in the Dodge Durango. Well, it still doesn't make it look very good, does it? You take a nine-year-old girl and a special ops unit into the American heartland. You lose the girl, you come up with nothing. You're in the deep end. And you're right in there with her. Right now, I have to go back to Washington and explain what the hell happened out here. If I meet a girl and whoever she's with. How would you like us to do that, Jimmy? The little girl's weak. And this being who came to help her has been shot. I think you'll have a definite advantage. Mmm, smooth sailing, I'd say. Just do it. And when we find her? Then find me and I'll take it from there. Yeah, that's worked so well up till now. I'm not going down alone on this one. Try not to screw things up. They're about 10 hours ahead of us in Montana. I had our guys switch the monitoring over to my laptop just in case the general got it into his head to check. Good. Hey, Mary, you've been through a lot with your father and everything with Allie. I just wanted to get it on. I'm here for you. I know that. You said before that you thought they were waiting for her to demonstrate, right? Yeah. Well. What happens now that she has? Pie. What? <laughs> Pie. My rule of any car trip. Uh, let's find a place to get some, and I'll tell you my theory of everything. She's exhausted from all that she's been doing. She'll be all right. Will she? And then what? They come for her again when she does something again. Do something to change all this. I just want my little girl back. You started all this, and you don't have any more of an idea where it's going to end than any of us do. Charlie, what's going on? Get out. Charlie? Get out! Charlie, what are you doing? Just give me a minute here. I want to talk to you. We need his help. Allie does. His help? He's the one responsible. Now, right now, I want to know what the hell this is all about. Charlie, you're hurting him. Stop it. He's already weak. Sweetheart, it's gonna be all right. Just give me a minute here. Why are you here? 
Why have you been doing this? What the hell do you want? We're just trying to understand. Understand what? Everything. I'll try to put this in terms that you commonly use. I'm a scientist. We were all scientists. We came here to learn about your world. Our idea was to find out everything. Your history, your biology, everything. We came here to learn. We're not that different from you, genetically, biologically. But what you call evolution has changed us. We see things in you that we no longer recognize in ourselves. What do we know? They're this energy that can manifest itself in different ways. As the beings we've seen, as their crafts, as our thoughts. There's no right or wrong about them. The whole concept of right and wrong was alien to us. The idea that things we were doing were cruel. They have no concept of kindness or cruelty, no way of seeing beyond the oneness of all that energy. To the separateness, the uniqueness, your ability to hate, to love, to feel. You have compassion as well as cruelty. We, we lack both. Or that is, the traits lie dormant. In their brains, like the animal that lives far back inside all of us. But an experience of something basic can awaken that primitive thing. And that's what happened. Your grandmother, Sally, she took me in and she showed me a great kindness. Something could have touched one of them, something small and simple. I awakened this sense of what was missing, something gone and half remembered. And so our greatest experiment began. Could they put it back? Thing that had been bred out of them for eons and eons. Your emotional core, your strength, your feeling, and our more evolved consciousness. Could we bring these two together? If we could do this, we would have the next step in the evolution of life. The experiment was an unqualified success. What do you think's gonna happen next? Allie goes with us. We work with her. We help her to understand our part of the equation. That's never gonna happen. You still don't get it. This thing you saw in my grandmother, this compassion, our humanity, you still don't have a clue what that means. Allie is my daughter. She is nine years old. I love her with all my heart and soul. You will never take her away from me. She can't stay here, Lisa. She did too much. If she uses her power again, that part of her that's us, it will kill her. And you were right. Those people will keep coming after her, and she will do something to keep you or Charlie safe. It's the only place for her. That is what's next.
No, it isn't. You've inflicted enough pain on this planet. It's over. Let it go. Go away. Montana. Looks like they've stopped. We should be able to catch up with them by tonight. Tomorrow morning at the latest. We've taken it all the way together, haven't we? I don't know what you mean. We're gonna be there when it all finally comes together and we're gonna know we did our part. Our part? Keep Ellie safe. Till they can finish their work. You're fine with that, aren't you? Them finishing their work. <laughs> I can't wait. That's all you want, right? Front seat at the show? They're more highly evolved than we are. She's more highly evolved than they are. It's the way of the Tao. Nature takes its course. What if it's our nature to fight back? Then we lose. Evolution 101. Just a little kid. I didn't ask anyone to make me special. My friend Dale, his son was killed in the Gulf War. Ellie showed him his boy. We all saw him clear as day. Your uncle should have seen the ad we put in the paper by now. He will. Don't call him. What else happened, Cindy? People were there from the government. People who had come to take her. Cindy, I want to hear the rest of this, but right now we've got a call I've been hoping for. I'm going to ask you to please stay on hold for just a few minutes, Cynthia. Because as he does from time to time, noted ufologist Tom Clark is checking in. Talk to me, Tom. Hi, Bill. Tom Clark. What news from the front, my friend? Well, I'm afraid I've got nothing for you tonight but a false alarm. I'm calling from Gray's Lake in Idaho. Gray's Lake. Promising name. Too. Is this him? He's the dad. <laughs> I know. Tom. Charlie. Thanks for taking such good care of our family. So what kind of adventures you've been on lately, huh? <laughs> A lot's been going on. Oh, yeah? Good to see you. Well, I thought we'd go into Mexico for Texas. Got a guy down in El Paso who's working on the documents. He's gonna meet us down at my mom's old place in Lubbock. I was thinking that you guys should go down to South America. Got a family down there. Put you up indefinitely. Buenos Aires. Big change, but I, I just think it's something you have to do. What? You've got a feeling? This is all. I'm supposed to be going somewhere, that's all. Mexico sounds like a good idea. What do we do about him?
doesn't look too good. I don't think we'll have to worry about him much longer. People talk a lot as if the most important thing in life is to always see things for what they really are. But everything we do, every plan we make, is kind of a lie. We're closing our eyes and pretending that the day won't ever come when we won't need to make any more plans. Hope is the biggest lie there is, and it is the best. We have to keep going as if it all mattered, or else we wouldn't keep going at all. done that. But you didn't. I almost did. I don't want to hurt people. How do I make this stop? I mean, if I couldn't do any of those things, then people would leave me alone, wouldn't they? I don't know that much about people. You'll be afraid and you'll be alone. You're becoming more than you already are. I'm not going to go with you. I belong here with my family. I brought this for you. What is it? It was your great-grandmother's. She gave it to me before I left. much longer. I know. wanted to go on a long car trip, didn't you? <laughs> have to think about anything more complicated than baseball. You're going to be a little girl again, I promise. Hey, back 
together again. <laughs> See how this looks gorgeous? I'm never gonna let you go, honey. I'm proud. Oh, that's lovely. I've got a gun to your mother's back. I'm betting that I can get a shot into her before you turn the gas station here into a flying saucer or a house of pies or something. Allie, don't try to do anything, do you understand? Good girl, listen to your mom. Allie, when we were in that farmhouse, you saw something that scared you. I think you know what they want you to do, and I don't think you want to do it. I can take care of you. I can keep you safe from your, your friends. We can work together on this. hurt anybody. I really don't. You're out of options. You must realize that by now. I have the resources and technology to help you. It's me or them. I just want to help. You're alive. You can't help anyone. Let's go. That was too close. How did they find us? Sweetheart, I want to ask you something. Those people from the government, when you went with them from Dr. Penzler's, you said that they put something over your head. Right. I heard them say it was to block a signal. If those people know enough to block that signal, then they know how to read it, to track it. You have one too, Lisa. That's how they found you in Seattle. There's not much point in getting fake papers and going to Buenos Aires, is there? No matter where we go, they find us. No, there's got to be something we can do. You can shut her off, can't you? You can do something so they won't be able to track her signal or, or mine. If you can do it, then do it! You owe us that much! I can't do it. I don't have the strength. But Allie can. Find it inside you, Allie. Can you? Allie, don't do anything. You're weak. I have to. Oh, Allie, please. The music helps me concentrate. I'm not registering. We're not picking up their signals. I know. You know. Shut off. Gone. No more signals. And you didn't bother to tell me? Well, I was getting to it. You think Allie did it? Probably. You seem pleased about it. 
Check this out. The sightings are starting again. Lights in the sky. Idaho and Nebraska. We better be ready. You can't do anything, Mary. Don't you get it? You want to talk about what happened back there at the parking lot? Yeah, you were going to shoot her. I was going to stop her. That's not up to you. You're not going to let it go, are you? I can't. You know the story of the Medusa. You look at her and you turn to stone. Unless you know the secret. Which you have to be an enlightened warrior to learn. This is going somewhere, right? If you know the secret, you can kill her. And then the winged horse, Pegasus, from her head and the world becomes a very very place. <laughs> I used to think we could get something out of this um, new science something I even thought we could get the better of them somehow but we're not ready to be anything but spectators in this. Anything more. Stone. I'm not giving up, Chet. I'm gonna find her and I'm gonna be more than just a witness to this. like all your callers are saying, then maybe this isn't some evil conspiracy after all, Mr. Jeffries. Maybe this is all about coming together and, and moving on. Thank you, Bruce from Nebraska. And on a good note, I always say. Are these the last days? Is it all coming to a head? The lights are in the sky, my friends, and the little girl is out there somewhere on the road. She's in our thoughts, and she has our prayers. This is William Jeffries saying keep watching the skies and hope for an answer that doesn't hurt. I should have stopped her. I never should have let her shut us off. All right, all right. Take a breath. Take a breath. Let her come out of it a little before she travels again. Nobody's going to find you here. What about John? Let him rest. Give Allie a couple days until she's stronger. My friend will be here by then with the papers, and we can move on. What are you doing? I can't stay with you anymore. If I'm here, sooner or later you'll be found. Now that you've turned your signals off, once I'm gone, none of us will know where you are. Do you mean no one will be able to find me? I can't promise you that. But at least you'll get the chance to be the little girl you said you wanted to be. If things get too difficult, if you feel that you can't stay here any longer, you can find us again. You'll know. 
find the part of you that is us. We'll hear you and we'll comfort you. But unless you call us, we won't be able to find you. I'm the one that's going to know. When the time comes, it'll be your choice. learned from doing this. What's changed in me? I would never, never do any of this again. This is all my fault. It wasn't mine to meddle. You wouldn't have been able to do it if you weren't supposed to. Can I walk with you a minute? Just to the edge of the woods. This is as far as you should go. Goodbye, Ali. How do you let someone go? How do you understand that that's all right? That everything changes? How do you find a way for that to make you feel good about life? Instead of breaking your heart? The hardest thing you'll ever learn is how to say goodbye. What did he do to her? I mean, he did something, and then he just left. No, I don't think so. I think she was just about to give out anyway. I think he left to protect her. I had this feeling about John, something he was feeling. When John showed Allie how to block our signals, I think he made it so the aliens couldn't find us either. But as long as he stayed with us, sooner or later they were going to find us. He was part of them? I don't know. But I think when he went back, he was giving Allie, giving us all a chance. So we should take it. Maybe they don't know where she is either. <laughs> That's a thought, isn't it? You can't be serious. What if they're looking forward to? 
her signal disappeared, and then her mother's, and then the lights appeared. How is that possible? She, she's with one of them. Good question. So what do you think? The man driving the camper was Tom Clark, Lisa's uncle. Yeah, I thought I recognized him. He's getting a little long in the tooth. I had the office upload all of my grandfather's files, everything we have on Tom Clark. You know, my, gra my grandfather went to Texas once. Yeah, you got the bejesus scared out of him by Jacob Clark, right? Tom still owns his mother's farmhouse, the one my grandfather went to to get Jacob. You think that's where they've gone? I'm off for taking a look. What if they're there, Mary? Then what? You know, I never would have thought 50 odd years ago when we found him in the shed. It's all leading towards something like this. They took you, right? They did. And you stood up to them, didn't you? <laughs> I tried. You stood by Allie and Lisa. This goes way back for you. Grandpa? My dad, too. They didn't do us any favors. Well, Sorry. Nothing's ever simple, is it? I'm gonna go inside and see how Ali's doing. As soon as I heard, I've explained a bit of the situation to the local authorities. They've agreed to yield jurisdiction. How'd it go in Washington? In my years as a commanding officer, I find I get the best results from my people when I don't refer to them as incompetent idiots. I find that people perform best when they're not riddled with self-doubt. The Joint Chiefs seem to favor a more direct approach. We got 48 hours to find the girl. I want to thank you for stepping up, Captain. Colonel Breck wasn't quite up to the challenge, something this, this unusual. Thank you, sir. But with all due respect to the Colonel, sir, what do you expect? Well, it's one thing to expect something, Captain. Quite another to have it bite you in the ass. And it's one cold and nasty bitch. Clearly, she knows right where the little girl is. I imagine she and the doctor both know. 
but there was a difference of opinion on what to do about it. That is one cold and nasty bitch. That's exactly right, General. as soon as the papers are ready. It'll probably be tomorrow. And then we'll get you out of here, get you out of the country clean. What is it? There was this, there was this message on my machine at home. From Chet Wakeman. He's one of the hot shots on the project. There's a guy who came after you in Seattle. Right, right. He said he wanted to help us. And then he got cut off. Probably just, just some sort of bluff. Get us to move too quickly. Yeah, probably. Can you get your guy to hurry up with the papers? I already made that call. Are they necessary? Well, the authorities feel comfortable handing you over to me? Yeah, they are. Sit down. It disgusts me to have to deal with you. I want that on the table. I understand that. When we're through all this, I want to see to it that you're held accountable for what you've done. So let's get to it then. You knew where the little girl was, and you chose not to tell me. You wanted to keep her for yourself? I thought I'd use her to reestablish my power base, yes. So what changed your mind? Dr. Wakeman. You've been monitoring the reports from the Northwest, the lights? Yeah. So far, that's all they've been, just some sightings of lights. He thought that this was it. They're coming for Allie. Why don't they just take her, then? Because at the moment, they don't know where she is. She's with one of them, the, the, the one from the gas station. Well, maybe he's the one who turned her signal off. Maybe he's protecting her. And why would he be doing that? Remorse? I came after Allie in a gas station. She escaped from me with the help of that alien. and Allie herself didn't do a thing. Well, it sounds like she didn't have to. No, no. She's down, General. She's spent. Suppose I'm right. Suppose they don't know where she is. Then for the moment, they can't protect her. For the moment. So you want to get to her before they do? I want to finish what we started. After everything you've done. You know what the stakes are, General. I was going to warn her. Warn her? You're going to have to work with me. Want to take these off? Tom Clark's mother's house, Lubbock, Texas. We didn't want you to know. <clears throat> You've taken this away from me before, General, and it blew up in your face. When all this is over, you can have me arrested, do whatever it is you think you need to do. But for the moment, you need someone who understands what it is you might be up against. You need me. I want this quick, and I want it quiet. Get our people out of Fort Ash and down to Texas. They will be coming soon. Coming to try to stop what was going to happen next. But maybe they could be stopped. Maybe something could happen that would make it hard for them to do what they wanted to do. How is she? Same. Think they're coming? It's just a matter of time. 
Yeah, well, there's no point in running unless we have a place to run to. Something like this, the government can only do because nobody's watching. That's what you always said. Yeah. I have an idea. How far do you have to go to make a phone call? Who are you going to call, Charlie? I'm not going to call anybody. You are. I've never been inside a UFO, never met one of these creatures, and yet I believe with all my heart that this is real. Why? Because I do not believe that hundreds of thousands of people could tell the same lie. Now, if this next caller is who I think it is, folks, we're in for a real treat. Tom Clark back again, says here on my screen. To what do we owe the pleasure? Did you find something in Idaho? Talk to me, and I'll talk to you. It's about that little girl the Army's been looking for, Bill. Oh, yeah, we've been getting lots of calls about her. Well, the people who've been calling are telling the truth. I know this little girl, and I was hoping that your listeners could help us out. I believe we have a lot to talk about, Tom. But I have to pay my bills first, so if you just hang on... You still there, Tom? I'm here. Tom, we're off the air now. This little girl. I've been getting these really extreme calls out of Seattle. Well, for starters, she's my niece. It's done. I've got information about this girl. The one you've heard about on the news. The one you've heard about on this program. And as usual, you're not getting the whole story. This little girl, she's a piece of the sky, my friends. Have you been taken? Well, so is she. Have you had experiences beyond human comprehension? Same's true of Allie. This little girl, my friends, she may hold the key to an understanding of all that you've gone through. I mean, the government believes it. That's why Allie's not safe. Because they're not going to rest till they have her in their hands where they can look at her and try to figure out what this is all about. That's why she needs your help. They can do what they do because they can do it in secret. They don't have to stand out there in the light of day. Well, if you're on the road tonight, I want you to turn your car toward the state of Texas. And if you're in bed, I want you to get up and I want you to get dressed because they're not going to be able to touch her.
The target is a little girl. Her name is Allie. She's the focus of our government and of a race of aliens that have been visiting this planet since the late 1940s. This is the girl in question. And while the government has offered a reward for information that may help them to find her, army officials deny that there is any connection between their search for the little girl and reports of troop movements from Fort Ashe. Mr. Jeffries, do you believe that this troop movement is related to the government's search for the girl? We have come here to Texas to see this little girl and to understand what's been going on for all these years. Super secret missions, government conspiracies involving UFOs and aliens. It may all be a bit hard to swallow, but Jeffries is not alone. Tom? Tom Clark? Thanks for coming, Bill. Oh. This is really something. I guess people really do listen to radio at 4 o'clock in the morning. How's your niece? One of these people happened to be a doctor, so she's in there with her right now. This might be a little beyond my medical capabilities. Can she travel? Look, um, I'm a multiple abductee myself. I've been taken repeatedly since I was seven, but I, I still don't even really know what we're dealing with here. This might be something that's better suited to their medicine than to ours. No. No way in hell is she going anywhere near them. We'll, we'll find a way to help her here. Okay. Okay. I'll leave you folks alone with your little girl. You try to be strong for your kid, you know? I'm your mom. I can take care of everything. I can keep you safe. But really, you know, there's nothing you can do. You can't keep him safe from anything at all. Hey, you've done a lot. We're gonna be all right. Look, Tom's got it all set up for us. His friend brings out the papers and we disappear into the sunset. I spent most of my childhood disappearing. I'm pretty good at it. Nina. Hi. Hey. Oh my God, I can't believe you're really here. Danny heard about it on the radio. God, is she all right? No, she's not all right at all, Nina. series of miracles, that's what it was. The things that happened and what they did to all of us, it was just a series of miracles. And the things that she can do, there's a, a kindness to her power, uh, an attention to do good. I was really angry, you know? I, mean, I still am, I guess, but in what we saw, in what she did, I mean, I'm with these people. After what I did to them, I'm here with them. They were able to forgive me. That's because of her. This is as close as we can get without getting the attention of the crowd. We'll treat this like a riot situation. Have guards going first to get the crowd out of there. Still, you gotta admire the move. We're out here trying to fly under the radar, and they've put up a wall of people between us and the little girl. Uh, she must really mean a lot to those folks. Going through all these kind of lines. We'll move in tonight. Video message waiting. Hey there, Toots. I programmed this file to send if I didn't delete it in 24 hours. I guess I didn't delete it, which I guess means um, you deleted me. I kind of saw that one coming. <laughs> oh, he must be headed in for the final wing ding about now. Something I wanted to share with you. And we're also desperate for meaning, aren't we? All of us. You too, Mary. Even if you think you're not. You want answers. And in that way, I think the aliens are going to disappoint you. Here's the stone truth of it. They're still asking the same questions we are. 
no one is God here. We're all in the same boat. That was our life together, wasn't it? We asked questions. I used to love the way you... I used to love the way you'd get that far away look in your eye whenever you were working something out. Could have been happy, Mary. I really believe that. If only you'd just let it go. That's a, another question for them, isn't it? What is it that makes us so screwed up? Why do we do the things we do? Well, maybe they can create something that's better than the sum of its parts, huh? Allie belongs with them. We're not ready for the knowledge they have to offer. It'd destroy us. Ooh. Look at me. I guess in the end, I turned out to be something of a humanist. <laughs> You're shaking your head, aren't you? I see. You do love me. <laughs> what brought you here? As soon as I heard what was happening with the little girl, I, I knew I had to be here. How long do you think you'll stay? As long as it takes. And you? We all feel it. I, I don't know if any of us could tell you exactly why, but we all knew we had to be here. It, it's kind of hard to explain if you haven't been taken, but we all knew we had to be here. Yeah. The girl, Allie, is inside this house. Some say she's resting. Others say she's dying. But the question that we haven't been able to answer yet is, what does she mean to this group of abductees, people who believe they've been taken? I really appreciate you doing this for me. No problem. Good luck, Tom. Well, this is all of it. Passports and visas. We have a car waiting for you out in the woods. There's an old back road that leads all the way to Highway 177. Dale and I took it this morning. And it leads all the way past the Army. We came out on the other side, and they weren't any the wiser. You ready? We went to the Sporting Goods School and cleared out the hunting section. If anyone tries to hurt other little girl, you're gonna have to come through us first. I don't want you to do that. Allie? Hey. Tom, could I talk to her? No, just for a moment, please. No. Please, please, please go back to your cars. Bill, please help me get. Uh, folks, please. Uh, uh, She's not ready to talk to us yet. She's just not ready. Come on. All right. Fine. Listen, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go someplace far away where none of this matters, okay? Everything's ready. We gotta go. No, not now.
It doesn't seem right to uh, interfere with us the way they did. Maybe not to us. But if we saw this from someplace else, it was just time for this to happen. For what to happen? Me. All of you, listen to me. They're not going to do anything. There's too many of us here. Do you want to help? We have yeah, to yeah. stay in front of the port. Go to the van now. Give me the wireless unit. Attention. This area is under federal control. Please make yourselves available for immediate relocation to a debriefing area. Your vehicles and personal belongings can be claimed after you don't the debriefing. listen to that. It's a lie. Thank yeah. you for stay your right here. Stay right in front of the port. Yeah. Right here. Stay in front of the Stay right here. We're stronger together. Stay in front of the porch. Just so you know, a lot of us are armed and are willing to give our lives to protect Allie. Or take some if we have to. You need to get out of her now. Put your plan into action. We'll do what has to be done. Thanks. We're here in force, my friends. Come out of the night to put the monster back in the box. We better get back inside. No. Allie. Are they going to come for you now? John left it up to me. Do you think if we'd been regular people, Charlie would have come and lived with us and we could have been a family? I know that would have happened. I don't want to go. I want to stay here with you. Then stay. We've got a plan. We can get out of here right now. It'll be okay. Give a command. Troops. Troops. Advance. Advance. Here they come. People kill each other. I don't want that to happen because of me. Well, then we'll go away. I told you we have a plan. Where could we go? This would all just happen again. Allie, Allie, listen to me. I am not going to let that happen. We're going to get Charlie, and we're going to get out of here. We'll figure out a way. There's nothing we can do. We're a family now. We can try. 
You are always a family. General. Really coming this time, aren't they? Turned out to be my dad. I love you. I love you too, Daddy. I have to go. No. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I won't let you. I won't let you go. You, you said this was all meant to be. Never let you go. I love you, honey. Every day and twice on Sundays. I love you too, Mama. Is she making this all up? Is this just another screen? This is no screen, General. This is real.
You stop them. You stop them. Please. You gotta do something. It's my family. It's my daughter. We can't. Ali belongs with them. Her and the knowledge of how they did all this. I'm sorry. That too. No. No, this is a record of everything. Even if we lose a little girl, at least we'll still have this. Sooner or later, we'll know what they know. Exactly. You're the one who is going to see this through to the end. I did. see the rest of this. She deserves that much. I don't know what will happen next. I don't know what I'm going to be, what I'm going to learn. But what I do know is this. Life, all life, is about asking questions, not about knowing answers. It is wanting to see what's over the next hill that keeps us all going. We have to keep asking questions, wanting to understand, even when we know we'll never find the answers. We have to keep on asking the questions.
all its promises still in your eyes. Between the time your mother calls and the time you put the ball away, there's a lifetime to be lived and a world where every dream is here to stay. can believe in every story ever told.